Hello everyone. For those that watch my races in GT Sport, you may have noticed that I never drive with advertising plastered all over the car. You'll always see I have some custom paint job, my name, and sometimes my logo on the vehicle. Just as a break from screaming engines all the time, I thought I'd go through and show you how I paint up a car in GT Sport's livery editor. Livery, livery, however you want to say it. So here we are on the GT Sport main page and we scroll down to livery editor, select that. That brings us to the page where we can start a new or open an existing livery for car, helmet or suit. That then takes us to the garage of the cars you own so that you can select the car that you want to paint. After a minute or so of asking about looking for a car that you haven't painted yet, I eventually decided on my Honda NXS Group B rally car. And there she is. So if you scroll across to the left to preview and hit the X button, and then you can use your right joystick to spin the car around and have a look at it from whatever perspective you like. Just a quick note, you can perform some of these functions from your steering wheel, but not all the buttons seem to work for all the things that you're going to want to use. So I strongly advise you use a hand controller for this. Anyway, using your green square button to exit the preview, the first thing you're going to want to do is paint the car. You get a warning that the detailing that came with the car is going to be lost if you proceed, but if you want to paint the car, you proceed. We select paint all and our color palette appears. You click on that, all the standard colors appear, but there's also a color picker for getting really precise for in-between tones if you're fussy about that sort of thing. On this occasion, I opt for a dark green for some reason. I select it and that becomes our base color. If I then open up the color palette again, you'll see that that green color appears in the color history in the bottom left hand corner. This is really helpful for when you're trying to color match later on. Then depending on the make of car, you'll be presented with some sub options for different parts of the car. You can paint different colors if you wish. To demonstrate this, I'm going to paint the bonnet, for example, go to the color picker, choose a color. In this case, I'm gonna go for good old black. I select OK. I go across to the preview again, just to have a quick scope and see if I think it looks all right. I'm happy with that, so I leave preview again. I end up deciding to go back into paint again, and this time I'm going to paint the rear wing. You'll see that black has been added to green in the color history, but I just choose black from the picker. Again, across to preview, just to check it out. Looks all right. Now I'm going across to decals so that we can bling it up a bit. Then we're presented with a basic menu of parts of the car I can add decals to. In this case, I choose the bonnet and go add layer. I hit select decal. And then we enter the menu for the different groups of decals I can choose. In this case, I'm going to go for a racing stripe. All the decals will come up white by default, which can be a bit of a pain on a white car, so change the color straight away. Again, go into the color picker. Here I'm going to use the color history to match it to the same green I've already used. I then select finish editing layer. And as I always tend to do, I step backwards and go across to the preview and check it out. I'm happy with that. I go back across to decals again, select body, add layer, and this time I'm going across to the rear of the car, select a decal, and in this instance I'm going to select the same racing stripe as I chose before, 
I wanted to stretch it up over the back of the car, so I hold down the L1 button and then push the right joystick forward if I want to lengthen it, backwards if I want to shorten it, left or right if I want to make it wider or thinner. I use the color history to make it black. I OK that and then step backwards to the main menu to preview it again. Nice. Just before we move on to more painting, let's have a look at wheels. We go into the wheel picker. Again, more asking about for a few minutes, looking for a wheel that I like. When you get the game, you'll get a small selection of wheels, but a lot of these wheels come from the mileage exchange, which I'll show you a bit later on. I finally decide on these ones. You can also paint the wheels. Again, I can color match them to green if I want or paint them any color I like. I end up deciding on black though. So back into decals, this time onto the body, add a layer to the left hand side of the car, select a decal. One of my favourites is the flame design, there's a couple but I'll choose this one. I use the left joystick to move it, the right joystick to change the size. I can use the L2 or R2 on their own to rotate and if I hold down the R1 and use the joysticks I can change the shape by being able to stretch it horizontally or vertically. Next thing I tend to do is sort out the colour. Quite often you'll find that you want to mirror things either on the side of the car to the other side of the car, sometimes at the tail or on the bonnet. For this you're going to want to go into layer controls. The best option for this is flip horizontally and duplicate. And there we have the same pattern mirrored on the other side of the car. Next thing I want to do is add the racing stripe to the roof. So we go across and select roof, select our racing stripe, the same one as before. For some goofy reason, by default it's placed the wrong way around. You use your L2 or R2 to line it up. It's a little bit tricky, you have to be very subtle on the movements. Hold down the R1 and then stretch it out. Fix up the colour, again black. That's that one sorted out. Another quick preview. Just another quick thing I'll show you in decals. If you scroll over to any given layer and hit the triangle button, you'll get a menu including delete the layer. That's the one you're most likely to use. Another function you would use a fair bit is duplicate. Select the layer you want to duplicate. Go across to layer controls and duplicate. Move it around so you can see it's separate from the original layer. And then what I tend to do is something like change the color of the duplicated layer. In this case, I opt for yellow. Go okay. Move it back over near the original layer little bit of playing around, sizing, moving. Back across to layer controls to mirror it to the other side. There we go. Now I'll just quickly show you how to do some shading. I add a new layer and I select the left hand side of the car for this. You can do it on either side first, doesn't matter. I select the shaded spot which is like a spray can. And now I'm going to match the colour to the colour of the car. Initially you can't see it, but then I'll use the left joystick to move it across. Bit of mucking around with it to get it in the spot. 
can use the right joystick to increase or decrease the size of the spot. Duck back across two layer controls, mirror it to the other side. Now I'm going to duplicate it again. Makes it a bit stronger. Just makes the whole thing look a little more subtle. Once I'm happy with that, I'll jump out of here and mirror it to the other side again. Here we go. Done. Back to preview to check it out. And that's my handiwork. The final thing I like to do is put my name on the back of the car. That way when I overtake people, they see awesome. So we select the rear of the car. We go to the fonts. Unfortunately, there's only the one font, but you can reshape it, I guess. We put the O, we size it, we place it. Again, we can use the L2 or R2 to spin it if we want to uh, spin it around a little bit. There we go. Takes a little bit of fiddling around. Sometimes you're going to want to get in close and uh, like that for a bit more detail. You hold down the R1 and R2 and then use your left joystick to move around. And then we just start repeating the process. Keep selecting rear of the car, pick the next letter, move it, place it, resize it. Sometimes this takes very subtle little movements, it can be a little bit tricky this one. Eventually we get there. Oh, a bit too small, a bit too large, a bit of placement, tiny, tiny movements. And then we just keep repeating that process until eventually we get there. I'd have to feel sorry for Greek people though, whose name is Papadimetropolis. That would take a while. Anyway, that's good enough. And just one last finishing touch that I'm going to add. Just to the rear of the car, I'm just gonna put a, a white design just on the other side of the word. I decide that one will do. A little bit of placement. Maybe just spin it just slightly, there we go. Ah, that's enough. Like any artwork, I suppose, it's hard to know when to stop. It's pretty easy to overdo it. And now just one final touch. I'll just show you in high speed as I go through and blacken the front end of the car. And there we have it. Now just the final step, save it. I just quickly stop on the way through to racing items and add my name to the car. Not something I always do, but I will just here. Here we go. And I almost forgot to put a star on the car. I tend to put a star on the car somewhere. I jump into the color picker to decide on a color. Yep, black. Alright, I'm finished for real this time, so I hit save. You can name it, I don't bother. Go across to save, 
And finally it asks you if you want to upload that design so that you can use it in the game. That means then you can take it into the online races and when you select that car your livery will be applied to your car when you race. Now I did mention before that I'd quickly show you the mileage exchange where you can get things like special colours. This figure here is your career earnings the money you earn for wins and places, be it online in GT Sport or just within the game itself, it maxes out at 20 million before you have to spend it on something. I think this is my third or fourth time racking it up towards the 20 million mark. But this figure next to it is your mileage points based on the miles that you've driven in the game. And it maxes out just one point short of 100,000. These are points that you can exchange for special items in the mileage exchange and the mileage exchange is updated I think on a weekly basis so there's always new things coming in like chrome paint and fluorescent paint and extra wheels and things for your helmets and suits and things like that. Anyway so finally I duck into the garage and put my new painted car in the showroom and this is what it looks like. So anyway folks that's how you do a custom paint job in Gran Turismo Sport. Thanks for watching everyone.